and Andrew, there we go, we're I live. Find out tomorrow that I fucked up somehow. Yeah. Do, do you guys all hear us? If so, jump around. Uh -oh. Jump, 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 jump yeah. around. Yeah, they can hear us. It's really quiet. It's, kind of it's really crazy. quiet. Okay. Um, Real quiet? Like, oh yeah, the phobia. <laughs> it's, <laughs> just it's quiet. You should probably turn up the the volume on the the. Uh, go hit the hit there. the cynic slider on the side, and it probably will be louder after you do that. Since it's being what world world volume, right? Yeah. World volume on VR chat as well as I think. So, okay, so uh, let's get yeah. started. So, let's hi get everyone. Started. I am Linux. I am uh, a new uh, Waterwolf staff member here. I've joined recently, uh, later this week, I think Monday, I think it was. I don't, I don't remember. Anyways, um, so this event is basically to introduce you to some really cool stuff that people have made, some opinions, some new feedback and updates about the Waterwolf community. This is uh, an official event for now, but we're going to try to put them every weekend uh, so we can share our opinions about certain topics and see new creative um, ventures that people have made. All right, I'm going to pass the word to uh, Amarok. Sorry. <laughs> Amarok over here. And you can get started huh? on a few things. Yeah, hi, I'm Amarok. Um, I've been a friend with Linux for a long time. Um, I recently gave him like the heads up, like, hey, you know, Waterwolf's got some positions open. You should give us a shout out. And one thing led to another, and he's now a staff team. Yeah, so that's awesome. And I, I up. So basically, like, my op opinion about Waterwolf, honestly. I think it's on the it's, table, though. Hang on. It's, it's great. Like, Waterwolf is I don't awesome. know where. So, like, for example. Um, there's so many like talented people in here. Like we have a new town section on our website that I have actually coded, and I'm really proud of it. So if you haven't went on the website yet, go check it out. It's an amazing new revamp of the uh, the town system. Uh, so basically, we have a bunch of town waterwolves. We have people creating worlds. We have people three modeling, doing video editing, AD team. We all also have the uh, the stage thing, uh, which. It's currently running at FWA right now, and our portal that is going to be later up tonight. So be sure to check that out. But anyways, I really love Waterwolf. It's such a great community. There's so much kindness, respect, and everyone's having a great time. So really, if you're looking for a community to join, Waterwolf is the one. Especially like for clubs, for daily events. Like I've been in VR chat a lot more this week. I've been there Tuesday for our. Uh, pop-up events. I've been there on Wednesday for our uh, Spirited Adventures and I've also been there all Thursday and everything for our FWA and I'm also here today to sh present to you our new event called Howl, uh, Community Howl Night. Okay, so I'll uh, let the Amarok speak a little bit. Uh, so, what do you think about Waterwolf? Well, I joined about a month before you did, and I was immediately impressed about the amount of community building that this community does. <clears throat> there is many open feedback. You can be one-to-one -one with the developers about any suggestions that you may have or any concerns about accessibility that you may run into. Waterwolf has a lot of openness to it. It's not like some other clubs where everything's kind of shut behind locked doors. We actually try to bring everything out and open for the general public to be a part of. Because Waterwolf is not just an organization. It is the community within it. It is the leadership that ensures everyone knows what they want of the community and works hard to deliver it. That's awesome, yes. I think so, Waterwolf is an amazing community. Mm -hmm. You so, wanted to say something, Linux? I Yes, I want to ask Isaac a question. What's your favorite cereal? Cheerios. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so so we've talked about a little bit about our opinions about Waterwolf. We want to hear more from the community. Settings. What is going on at Waterwolf? So as we heard, there's a bunch of events going on right now. We also have FWA, the portal that's being made. Um, 
So, well, let's go check in the Discord what has been happening recently in our community shop. Uh, so, what I've been actually planning uh, for the community shop on our website, this is a new feature I'm working on to implement. Uh, it may or may not happen. Uh, we'll, we'll see, right? So, um, let's see here. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff uh, going on. So Sire Gr uh, Greystone actually made a new asset that he released for free with a code Waterwolf. If you go and download it on his Gumroad, it's a great set of stairs, and uh, it's modern. It's a modern style, so it's awesome. I love it. Great work. And there's also a bunch of new lighting. Uh, TS Tilt Wave, uh, which is awesome as well, a new project that someone has made, which is completely like a bunch of lighting for stages and yeah, I don't know if it works with BMX, but I would have to have them. Um, do you have anything to share? Um, do you have any... Uh... I'm sorry, I was muted. <laughs> are, you, are you working on anything? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Are you working on Actually, I am, but it's on Roblox. Oh, so that's right fine. now, um, I turned something into the ship of Thesis, and if you know about that moral dilemma, it's where F2 fully replace something, is it the same ship? And um, basically, I am working on my APM C class model. Um, it is a automated transportation system that I've been commissioned and worked on for a while. There's a guy named Storm the Floof, and he wanted a people mover, so I made one for him. And the funny thing is, I've been working on this class for about half a year now, trying to make it as realistic to, as possible to the Inuvia uh, C801 models, which are the real ones that you'll find in real airports, like in, in Atlanta, for example. And it's been a pretty interesting process. My my latest model just had a complete refurbishment today where I wanted to redo the base model, which is that giant shell basically. And it went off the rails because I, I wanted to do way more improvements. I pretty much turned the thing into an inadvertent sports car. It's really, really fast and efficient. And I'm really proud of it. I spent a lot of time on it and it's trying to be as realistic and as functional as possible. Oh, let's try to see here. What do we like about our DJ's Waterwolf? So, what DJ's do you guys like? I like Low Prowl. <laughs> I know everyone loves Low Prowl. We're actually gonna listen to it tonight, which is gonna be great. Retro, you got anything on this? Hmm? Retro? Low Prowl, yes. Low Prowl, yeah. Everyone loves Low Prowl. Let's go check them out. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I can't name any DJs. The only one I can name is Engineer Isaac. Is Engineer Isaac a DJ? I didn't know that. Oh. Dude, he literally hey, opened for the event you were at yesterday. I mean, the other day. <laughs> I am silly. <laughs> I, You're like, is he a DJ? Guys, I forget everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is completely unscripted, everyone. This is, like raw this is how like honest we can get with this um so basically oh yeah you didn't see like me like talking to someone a minute ago because someone walked into my room asking where my <laughs> keys were for my jeep <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun of it we're creative we're trying something out um, this is our first event so like it won't be perfect there's gonna be some refinements to do uh one of the refinements i've done uh, is uh, we're using vrcdn uh, which is going to be an awesome addition to people having a low, low latency experience with um, the event, which is going to be great. And this is also recorded, so you can always watch at home after the event's over and uh, check back on what's new for this week. Um, so let's see. Um, is there anything you're excited about? Like maybe like in other communities or even this community or VR in general? Is there something you're very excited about? passionate about i'm excited for what water wolf's potential because water wolf has a really large potential unlike um other conventions water wolf <clears throat> being as open source what <laughs> okay he was i thought he was gonna try to say something anyway with water wolf no, being no, as open source no, as it is there's a lot of um other conventions that are popping up that are using water wolf technology and i think that's a really great way to get the name out of water wolf because we're like the 
behind the scenes business of every convention we got. And I, I really like that because it gives one to be like people the opportunity to make conventions that they didn't think were possible because they didn't really know what they were doing technology wise while Wild hey guys, has that technology Hello. is willing to share it. Oh, look, so I think wave. that's a really, really great way to expand upon Waterwolf is kind of exploring like those Isaac free conventions and helping people oh. around and Isaac. to achieve He's those convention status. Aww. <laughs> well, yeah. So, what, what do you enjoy about Waterwolf um, Retro? I just love the community aspect. Like, people just brings brings love, joy brings I love light your shirt. i love your, your, your thank you shirt your hoodie it's hoodie. whatever it's called <laughs> yeah it's called, it's called a hoodie yes right right and if you and if you are in the discord you can find this hoodie and texture Ooh. work in the public asset channel Ooh! so if you have an avatar it might be yes. worth it to check it out so, I actually have a question right. for yes. the people watching in the Scratch, or even at done. home. Um, if you would community. like to come in here and Cypress speak about your expressions you. or anything you want to share with the community, feel free to come up Give on stage. Um, we'll be happy to talk with you. I'll be waiting a little bit. <laughs> yeah, come on. Any of you all want to speak? Anyone? Yeah, come there's here. a lot of you here. No? Alright. Okay. <laughs> so do you all want to like talk about FWA? Oh yeah, FWA, that's like yeah, a great that's topic a, to that's, speak that's about. A good we have a local that we're like, So what happened in the bathroom? The corner. Yo, here we go! Um, so what happened? <laughs> what, what happened? Oh, yes. Where? What happened? Let's hope this works. Uh, I, I said, what ha happened in the bathroom? Where? What? <laughs> oh, bathroom? yes. I don't know. That, yeah. What do you do in a bathroom? You just... Go you do your business, right? Like, I mean, nothing is special. Yeah, right. So nothing apparently, the enough. story goes. Now, this is unconfirmed by any of the officials or departments, but the story goes yeah. that someone detonated a firecracker inside one of the yeah. bathrooms. That's Come on, normal. guys, that's the wildest stuff I've ever heard. Oh yeah. You know, we when I used to work at the zoo in Cincinnati. No, yeah, of course no. we shouldn't do that. It's not group for other attendees. No, yeah, when also... I um when I worked at the zoo. Oh. Well, yeah, what do you want to say? The... The very dangerous thing with this is as well that like, you could hurt, hurt someone, you could damage something, and you could also like shut down the whole convention. Like this is a real possibility. Right. Doing pranks, yeah. doing silly things that are inconvenient to the staff and causing non-actual emergency would be very oh, yes. detrimental to a convention. <laughs> Actually, my first yeah, convention it's just... was FE 2024 in Toronto. It was really good. It's just it. insane when you think about it, because I've even had like Great. stupider cases when I worked at the zoo in Cincinnati. Uh, hmm. um, we had someone with a firecracker, and this is confirmed, but the news will never tell you about this. But it was about this big, and apparently it was an industrial grade firecracker. Now thankfully, oh, wow. this was in a parking lot that sure was no. not in service at the time, it was just an extra parking lot. And mm -hmm. all, I'm, I'm with my manager, sitting in the office, and all I hear is like, boom! And everyone's just kind of looking around. No one knows what just happened, what oh, that noise no. was. We thought it was a car accident. Oh, and my no. manager's like, well, oh, hang no. on a second. I'm going to go look out the window. We see oh, this no. gigantic spot of just blackness <laughs> where this person had detonated the firecracker. And I'm just like, oh, what in the hell has this happened here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that, 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 is a, that is a funny story. <laughs> So, yeah. anyone of you went to a convention, like an IRL convention yet? Or am I the So, I don't... Yeah, so I, I actually, I will not attend Furcons. Uh, it's just a personal oh. thing of mine. I will not go to them, mm -hmm. IRL. But I do go to, I go to all the Comic Cons hosted by the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Mm -hmm. So I go to Galaxy Con. Um, mm -hmm. There's one that just happened, Pop Sensi. And I also go to Cincinnati Comic this. Expo. You will always find me there. Funny I'm enough, always I there like chilling. The Comic Cons. Wait. Yeah, two. Yeah. There's one, there was one in Toronto, I think, at the same time as FE. I think. Ooh. Hello, the people. Welcome. Yeah, hello, guys. 
So, we talked about some stuff that the community did, but have talked about something you've made for me, Amrock. I'm looking at it right now. Oh yeah, so, uh, I made him this avatar. It was really, really nice and fun to work on. Very pretty. Very starry. So, I... (laughs) Oh yes. I made this in Blender, using like the... Well, using mouse drawing, texture paint, and all this stuff. Linux looks at me like I'm crazy because I can... I draw this stuff using a mouse, (laughs) and he's looking at me like... Right? How do you even do that? <laughs> and I'm like, it just takes a lot of precision and a lot of carefulness. The funny thing is I have a drawing tablet and I, I use that doing texturing, but he's using a mouse. How? How does that work? I don't know. People are so Hey man, I told you, talking. like, I will, I will show you how to do it. And you're like, well, actually, I'll just, um, I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> So, what do you um, want to say, um, Retro? Do you want to say Rar's the camera? You silly Rar. Rar. <laughs> I'm just like... So, have we I'm talked about dead Nora? To you. Because I know Nora's doing a oh. bunch of crazy stuff at FWA right now. We oh, yes. Um, yes. You know, the, is the, 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 the only thing I know... Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing I know about um, FWA is the only things that I've been told, and that's been the firecracker and the equipment being Waterwolf. Yeah. Half of the equipment yeah. being Waterwolf. So the <laughs> actually, our logo is on the floor at FWA, which is awesome. It's it's crazy to think. Yeah. Oh yes, we're an open source community, and we're already on the floor of a convention. That's great. I, I love it. Oh yes. So. One other thing as well is that Nora actually is the, I think he was the creator of the okay, so stage scene, if I remember correctly, I don't know. I, I think so. Mm. Anyways, stage sync is made by think, all know. of us. So really, yeah. he's contributing to that. He's an a, a, amazing person with like all the, I don't know how that works. Like the lights, DMX, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's cool. Like all these like lights over there in the, the stage. I, I don't know how they work. I mean, I, I think I have an idea. We could take it. Techno Sane. Uh, Techno Sane does like a really, really good job with the lasers. Like the he world. has done a phenomenal Field. job with Field. keeping this equipment running. Field trip. Like their whole team is extremely <laughs> talented. Field trip to the world <laughs> if you want. Be like, oh, the staging. Like, this is what we did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I think um I think for our next top show it should be like post FWA. So like we have more stuff yeah. about FWA to well, talk about. Well, we're tr- so if you are right, FWA right. watching this right now cuz this is you could be wow. watching an FWA. <laughs> um, make sure to send your photos into the FWA hub chat or the FWA image chat in our Discord. Yes. We want to see what you're better. doing. We want to see it. We're at, we're stuck in PR. We're stuck in this virtual reality and I, I want to go there yeah we're stuck in this box Maybe uh, next yeah we year. put them in a box Maybe. sorry guys oh, oh i don't like boxes <laughs> i'm scared hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, yeah, you, so... you drink all me wine Bunk. i didn't <laughs> drink all your wine <laughs> <laughs> Stop whining yeah, about it. So, <laughs> <Bid him. laughs> These conventions have always been fascinating to me. Um, yeah. I always hear a lot of fun stories from the attendees and all the other stuff that you all got well, to do. Like, wasn't it you that did like the the, the mile walk in a fursuit? Oh wow! Uh, no, uh, mile. Okay, okay. I think I know what you're talking about in Toronto, right? The mile. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so let's just be clear. I was not in full suit. Side? I was in so like, yeah, accessories partial. at all. It's oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I didn't have to head. I was breaking the magic. People don't like that. I don't know. I'm still working on that. And the reason is because breaking I got this magic. new avatar. Well, okay, it's not my new avatar, but my new ref sheet. And um, I yeah, didn't yeah. want to spend yeah. thousands of dollars before it was fully ready oh, yeah. and fully, fully It finished. wasn't ready. The paws <laughs> were ready. The tail was ready. I was like, click on it. I need to wait for the head because there's fiber optics. My my ears Get are very it. special. They change colors. Special. They don't change color right you now, know, but sweet they change t- colors. 
Yeah, yeah speaking of fursuits, um, I, I found this really, really, really nice Hollywood style wolf Ooh. suit that was extremely highly mm -hmm. realistic, just as like the canis, but they wanted $14,000, yes. and I was like, hell to the no. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I have college to go to. I ain't spending $14,000 oh, yeah, on that. Back, back to Toronto, so... Let's just talk about my little uh, like experience with my mm -hmm. first furry convention because that was amazing. Like, yes, I, you should do that. So mm -hmm. if you haven't went to a convention, really go to one. It Save money, really go to one. Though. You're gonna have so much fun, and I wish it was longer because I really miss it. I I have postcon depression every day. <laughs> Anyways, Lennox, so, this is why you're in Waterwolf. That's why I went to Waterwolf. That's the, that's the other reason. I think you should tell them about your website that you can do a website tracker. So some people don't know where you are. If you're oh. At a convention. oh, yeah. So I have. So I was. Uh, yes. During Toronto event, or the Friendly Equinox, I had some systems in place. So mm -hmm. right now, our event was Going. supposed to run on LCM, which is my little tool that I've made called uh, Linux Convention Manager. Which is like a little tool with all the panels. You can see all the panels. Who's going to what? Uh, we're doing like meetups to the CN Tower. We're doing meetups to the Aquarium. So you could all see these things, but it's like, hmm, you can't see where you are. Let's say I want to go to Tim Morton because everyone who was a Canadian is going to Tim Morton. So I was like, why not add a little feature to my website during the convention where people or my friends could see where I am. So there's like a little big map and you can see like Linux screen location and you can see like the conventions right here and then you can see like this is at the meetup at tonight and you can see like a bunch of waypoints which is really cool. Um, we didn't oh, end yes. up using it too much. I didn't, I did end <laughs> up using the uh, finder Ooh. feature during the Thursday when I landed in Toronto very early in the morning because I was in a rush. <laughs> When wow. I landed, I needed to go to North York, and I was running on Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, 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 go. Well, I had an exam, <laughs> so I had to run. Oh, no. I had to go across the city, but I didn't yeah. realize that the subway takes, like, 30 minutes to go, like, anywhere. So, yeah, I was... Yeah. Automate your subways, off. people. Automate it. It... TTC is automated, I think. <laughs> uh, there's yeah. only a driver. Uh, only, I think only line two and four. I was on line two. Two and a four. Huh. Yeah, that's the automated one. Yeah. Anyways, so nice. it was really cool. So like I was, so it wasn't my first time in a plane, but like for example, it was my first time landing mm -hmm. in like Toronto in a plane. So that was really cool. And there, you let me tell you, you want to be not in a rush because people are going to be wasting your time in the airport. And even in the plane, Yay. when you're on board, or off board, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I was like really worried because it was like, I think I was in the plane for 30 minutes after it landed. I was like, I just want to get off, please. And people were just grabbing their bags and like fighting mm. over them. I was like, oh my goodness, like, please be kind. Don't break my stuff. Well, I only be found, kind. I thought that only happened in air, like Spirit Airlines. Oh no, that happens everywhere. Spirit Airlines. I, I've seen it in I know, Canada. I was messing with I was flying with Air Canada, so I don't know. Anyways, we landed at six in the morning in Toronto, and I actually, actually, so the way it works is I live in a different time zone. I'm not an EST. I use EST all the time because Water Wolf, and then my job as well. I might use EST or friends or anything, right? So I use EST right. a lot. But in Toronto, it was really funny because I actually went to the airport and I actually live really close to the airport. I can hear the planes right, right now flying over me. Right, well, not right now. There's no plane right now, but just let's yeah. imagine plane. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when I actually Wait, went there, so I actually walked to the airport and people were like, why did you walk to the airport? I'm like, I live right nearby the airport. I don't need to go anywhere. I went there really early as well. Like I think I was at the airport. At I'm always silly. My flight was at like 5 a.m. I don't know. I was like, I, I'm worried not to miss it. I don't know. the flight. And then like I landed in Toronto. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm actually here. And, and then I'm like, all right, let's go meet a friend called Heath which was really uh, cool. a friend from Resonite. So 
Resident Evil is a different platform. It's not like it's like VR chat, but more like complicated. If I could make it simpler. Oh uh, yes. Yeah, Resident Evil is really fun, but it's also like very technical. Yes. You need to know a lot about it before you can actually jump in. And they're trying mm -hmm. to fix that. We have mentors, so I'm a mentor for Resident Evil, but it's really difficult. Right. So like every person's different, and they have like different learning abilities you don't always understand like you show them a button they're like i don't know what this is and i'm like yeah, i don't know <laughs> we can do something else but it's not like vr chat vr chat is more like for meeting up doing something fun together but resonate is more for creative oh, yes i honestly yeah. rather like do mod. like <laughs> personally playing resonate i feel like it's better to just mm -hmm. have unity and actually see what you're doing this in VR, oh, yes. you have a limited FOV and you have as well, reading text is very difficult. If I pull this over here, I have to like put it over here just to read it. So it's not really fun, mm -hmm. but yeah, you can put that back straight. Um, so back right. to Toronto, um, the walk that you were talking about, right? Um, mm -hmm. That walk, well actually what we did is we, I think it was like, I don't know how many people, it was crazy. There was so many people coming out of the hotel, and we went to like a, uh, how is it called? It's near the water. I don't remember. Um, a, a, a pier? Is it a levee? No, no, it's like a little like bridge. No, no, not bridge, but like it's like a little like area next to the water. You mm -hmm. can walk next to it. Uh, and there's boats. Yeah. I don't remember what it is. Uh, oh. Pier? I think it's a dock. No, I don't. A, do a dock. Let's just call it a dock. Yeah. Well, we went, we went yeah. to the dock. We saw the boat around the city mm -hmm. a little bit and we saw a bunch of people and they were like what is going on this is so impressive it's so talented it was like oh my goodness this is so cool people like it and i was like really happy back then because in my home city like where i live right now people they see you know you know a fursuit and they they will try to like what is going on here oh. like, what are you doing you're being silly i'm starting to get a little hangry i'm <laughs> hungry and angry angry why angry um, because I haven't eaten. No. I'm pretty we'll angry. Donate I'm now to feed so. retro. Feed, feed, <laughs> donate now, feed retro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, so. A dollar I, a day. <laughs> it was a great experience. A dollar a day will help this little note. Honestly, beast. if you can go to a convention, <laughs> go do it. There wasn't enough time. Three days was not enough. I need more time. Where is the one week Please. conventions? We, we, we need it. I might go to FWE tomorrow. Not, not tomorrow. <laughs> Next year. Next year. Good. Yeah, let me just go there tomorrow. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just eh. grab yeah. my plane right now. Just Have leave. fun. <laughs> <laughs> I could do leave. that. But no. You could theoretically do that, but it's already too late. Yeah, you probably... I would miss my personal advice for conventions is never go put yourself in a situation where it is extremely like no. risky for you to go to the convention like um, always plan ahead guys i've um, learned a lot from helping mm -hmm. people with travel expenses and stuff like um, that for planning ahead but what do you think i did oh you're like a tra travel agent yeah you did it last second but i'm gonna <laughs> tell you why you shouldn't do that i didn't Yay. do it last second that's what I did. Time to learn from your I mistakes. Went, <laughs> I went with a very low budget, and I maxed out that budget by a lot. So make sure to not do that. Wow. Don't go over Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting into that. So when you really realistically you should be planning if it's like more than a week and you have to travel for it it's always best to plan almost like half a year if not at least two months in advance because that that stuff will fly like good luck in a hotel room like the day of like you're not gonna get it and unfortunately um i would not recommend ride sharing with someone that you may not be that yeah, familiar no. with also, like, even if your best friend is ride sharing with you, make sure that they have a plan too. I've seen like many cases where people have their rides drop on them. Like they're like, well, I can't go anymore last second. And then you're out like how much money you just spent on the hotel and stuff like that. What I did the Ring FE actually, I had backup options. Like if the flight wasn't taking off at 5 a.m., I was hopping on a train. Like I was going on the train. Or I was taking another flight on another airline that I had booked as well, if if I needed to. 
so that was a good idea. So if you ever have like a train nearby or like another airplane or something, just book that, I guess. Backup options. I, I wouldn't drive from New Brunswick to Toronto. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. Too far away. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I wouldn't traveling is pretty interesting. Amio, though. He's pretty close. He's uh, in Quebec. <laughs> the Quebec. You can go see Scientific Cat. I think he's in Toronto, isn't it? Isn't Scientific uh, Cat in Toronto? I know he's French. I don't know. Canadian. I should ask that. That's a good question. Anyways, we're gonna end off with. Y'all should have a meetup. We should probably end off the this event with a bit of the website. Yeah. A few updates on the website. So actually, Ooh, yes. I don't know if you guys updates, noticed, yes. but we've actually fixed the nav bar, or not the nav bar, the footer. It was like a little bar on no, the footer. middle of the screen. It was annoying. You logged in and you had a bar in the middle of the screen. It's like, what is this? Oh yes. So I I tried to fix what that on my this? team. And as I said previously, it worked on the talent section, made it searchable, mm. so now you actually can yes. type water wolf and then it shows up water wolf talents or I don't know, 3D modeling and it shows 3D modeling. It's awesome, I love it. And it's like a little OBS tabs. too. So like now OBS, it's really... there's a bunch of uh, talents. Yeah. Programming. That's me. Yes. Gaming. And yes. there is one that you, there, you can actually like request new ones as you want. Are they requests or does yes. anyone make talents? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> you can probably request and then if they get like a certain amount of things, then, then they'll put it onto the website. Fine. I can't wait to upload like a, a poster like, on the poster network. It's like a network. kind of like a vote. Oh yeah, we have a poster system, network as well, which is awesome. You can yeah. do silly memes and I don't know, the iPhone baby. And then you saw at a convention. That's on there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, get yourselves heard, guys. You know we're Water Wolf. You be oh, open. Yes. You don't have to pay anything to get a poster the here. And it's coming well. randomized. No fees. No fees. No. No like. Yeah. No, no fees. It's no. Like, you want to do something? Do it. Like I, I came here today. I was like, I'm not, yes. I was not planning to make an event. I was like, oh, okay, we're gonna do, do an event. Let's do it. Great. There you go. Fun. I talked yeah, to Engineer Isaac. Was like, hey, what do you like? What do you recommend? What do you want to do? It was like. Yours. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He's kind of like, well, this is your community too. Here you go. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. We're all Water Wolf. We and are the community. Yes. We create it. We make it for all of us. Yeah. So, yes. The thing is, most people don't. Oh. Yeah, go on. Oh, oh yeah. So the one well, most people don't know is there's no difference between normal attendees and staff. Um, Engineer Isaac has intentionally hey, blurred the lines between management, staff, and attendees, so everyone feels a sense of mm -hmm. belonging, community, and involvement. Um, it is very important that we keep this the way it is, as if yes. you, as we've seen, you know, if you have like people at the top up always calling the shots, you know, sometimes there's a lot of disconnects and a lot of really disconnection between the community and the higher ups of what they actually want for the community. And they cannot claim that they're a part of a community if they have no community engagement. This is what where Water right. Wolf does really, really well is the entire thing is community engagement. There'd be no Water Wolf without the community that holds it up. Like, if you really want a server where it is 100% about the community, oh, this yes. is it. This is your home. Like, yeah. this is Water Wolf. Anyways, we're gonna end it off tonight with yeah. this. We gotta get ready for FWA Portal, and I hope you guys all join us. Oh, yes. It's gonna be a great night. Make sure to drink water. <laughs> oh, Make yes. sure to. Stay hydrated, eat something before you starve to death or something, I don't know. Make sure to take care of yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do when and I get, if like, you're at take my head out. Take showers, mm -hmm. make sure you eat meals, make sure you, you know, take, I don't know, put the order in. Yes. Stinky. You take care of yourselves, food. guys. Do not hurt yeah, yourself. Yeah, you can watch the on Please. <laughs> It's a uh, we yeah. get it. It's a fur con. You're very yeah. excited, but do not hurt yourself over it. <laughs> I'm trying to like find my own. Oh, there you go. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye.
How was that? Did you like that? That went pretty good. I think it's just because there's not enough people.